So let's get started by writing our very first program in Java, Hello World. So on your desktop, you should be seeing the blue jade icon in there. So double click on it to open it. And in Java, before you start writing a program, the first thing you want to do is create a project. So I'm going to click on project. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to call this project as unit one. And I would like everybody to be organized. Uh, your projects should be unit one, unit two, and so on. And I'm going to click on choose to set a location. Where do I want to save my uh, projects? Right now, I'm going to select desktop, but if you have to select any other place on your computer, go ahead and pick that place and go ahead and click on select folder. And I'm going to press OK. So as you can see on my screen on the Blue Jay here, it shows unit one. And now I'm going to begin writing my very first program in Java. So in Java, we don't say writing, creating a file, we say creating a class. So every application always begins with class definition. So the first thing we want to do is create a new class. So I'm going to click on this button, new class, to create a new class. And I'm going to give the class name and I'm going to call it as hello world. As you see, I have not left any space between the two words. So we are going to be using camel case for coding conventions every time we create a new class name. The first letter is always an uppercase, but if you have two or more words, then the first letter of each word is going to be an uppercase. By default, the class type is going to be selected as class. I'll make sure your class is selected and press OK. So now that we created our Hello World class, I'm going to write code into it. I'm going to double click to open it. And I am going to make the screen a little smaller so that you can see what I plan on doing. The first thing I want to do is remove everything that's inside this opening brace and the last closing brace. So I'm going to select from the gray line instance variables and I'm going to select everything just before the closing brace and I'm going to delete it. So let's begin. The very first thing that you see is here with forward slash asterisk. This is called as Java documentation. Every time you create a new class, you will have to provide the class description in the form of Java documentation. So I am going to delete, write a description of class world here, and I'm going to write as my first Java program. That prints hello world. And now for author, you're going to put in your name. And for version, I would like date and unit. So I'm going to put in date, today's date. That's going to be 8, 4, 20. And I'm going to put it as unit one. So to begin with, every time I would like you to follow this pattern for your uh, documentation at the beginning of the class, the class definition, what it does in one line, your name, date, and unit number. Now to begin with, we have public class hello world. This is your class definition. It's a header and public means it's visible to all. And in Java, every application begins with a class definition and uh, we create a class. Hello world is the name given to the class by us, by a programmer. And every class will have an opening brace and it will have an ending brace. So now just we're going to click after the opening brace and press enter. So, so by default, it moves forward a tab space. So we're going to write our code. And the first line of code, we're going to write it as public static void main opening parenthesis, string with an uppercase S, square brackets, args, closing parenthesis, 
and then press enter and then we have an opening brace and then we will do a closing brace. So now in this line we have public that means it's visible to all. Static we'll discuss that later in later chapters later units. Void is a return type and that tells that this method does not return any value. Main is the name of the method and it is a very important method and every application in Java must contain a main method and the Java compiler starts executing the code from this main method. It looks for main method and where it finds the main method, the code starts executing from there. A string as an argument and we have an opening brace. Again, after the opening brace, I'm going to press enter. And then I'm going to write my statement to print hello world on the screen. So I'm going to say system.out.println. Now print len, this is pronounced as print len. It means print in a new line. Ln stands for print in a new line. And it's called as print len. And now I'm going to type in my string. And as you all know, string is always within the double quotes, enclosed within the double quotes. So I'm going to open the double quotes and I'm going to type in hello, comma, world and exclamation. And then again, I'm going to close it with double quotes because it's a string. And we're going to close the parenthesis because we opened the parenthesis, we have to close it. And then we're going to end the statement with a semicolon. And in Java, every statement ends with a semicolon. So as you can see, this is the first step in writing a program, that is writing your code. That's called as source code. And this file is called as hello world.java because the name of the class is hello world. And since it's a source code, this is called as hello world.java. Now that we have written our code, and as you can see, we have not compiled it. And if you see in this rectangular box, there's like the gray lines that tells that this class is not compiled. So now that we've written our code, let's go ahead and click on this compile button. And once it's compiled, if there is no syntax errors, that means there's no spelling mistakes or no grammar mistakes, uh, it says class compiled, no syntax errors. So I'm going to close this. And now I want to run this program and I want to see the output. So remember I said the main method is an important um, entry point to start executing the code. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on void main and I'm going to click OK and it shows hello world in here. So a quick recap so three-step process, step number one is write your source code. Step number two is compile your program. And step number three is run or execute your program. When you run or execute your program, the compiler looks for the main method. If you see hello world.main, if the main method is not there, your program will not execute. You can't see the output on the screen. So I'm going to press OK and see the output in my screen.